Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today we are going to see the next tutorial how to write a program. So today we are going to see a simple program. So yesterday we have stopped till here. So today we are going to see how to write a program. Okay, first here you can see the header file. The first step is header file. So remember two header files one is one header file is ash include iostream.h ash include within angular braces you are going to write iostream stream dot h so this is nothing but io is nothing but input output stream dot h dot h means it is a header file you are calling a header file here so why this iostream dot h is used so whenever you use c out and c in in your program you have to include this particular header file so the next header file is conio dot h this conio dot h is nothing but console input output header file so these are the two header files so console input output header file is used because you are using get h and clr ser in your program let me tell you what is it in the next step so this is about the first header file these two header files you are going to add next is void main so void main within the opening and closing braces you are going to write some statements so the first statement is you have to declare a variable so consider an example yesterday i gave you an uh, example of adding two numbers so let me take that adding two numbers means the first number and the second number so let me declare those variables so to declare that variable first you need to mention the data type i have mentioned int int is nothing but the integer data type so here you can mention the whole numbers like 10 20 30 1 2 3 4 100 200 you cannot give a point value as an input so int number i'll mention num1 comma num2 comma and we are going to do the sum so i'll give sum semicolon so at the end of the declaration of statements you have to give semicolon next is c out statement so fourth step is you are going to give one c out statement c out so within the double code inside the double code you have to write a c out statement i'll give enter two numbers enter two numbers so within this double quotes you have written uh, at the end you have to give a semicolon semicolon is nothing but it tells this line is finished or this line is completed end of the statement so next is cn statement so cn you are going to give the input from the keyboard so for that cn see this operator this operator and this operator you need to mention it properly i'll mention num1 and again an operator again num2 here you are going to give two numbers at the end you are going to give semicolon it tells end of the statement next the logical statement so in this logical statements you are going to mention either the logic or formula whatever the logical part is there you are going to mention since this program is adding two numbers the formula is sum is equal to num1 plus num2 and a semicolon so here you are going to add two numbers and store the value in sum so now the next step is whatever the value calculated that has to be displayed so displaying you are going to use c out statement 
and you are going to tell sum of within the double code you need to mention sum of two numbers numbers is equal to double quotes you are going to mention a variable which were the value it is stored so in sum the value is stored so i have given sum here and give a semicolon next step is get h get h is used to get a character in the output screen so what is it let me show you i'll just save i'll go to file save or else i'll press f2 so here i'm going to give sum dot cpp this dot cpp is nothing but your file is a c++ programming so you are going to give sum dot cpp if you are using c programming you are going to give sum dot c dot c is c programming so click on okay you can see the file name is changed here so now i'm going to compile it so this compilation tells if there is any error so here you can see one error and one warning i'll click on enter key and here you can see the operator is not proper it is telling so i'll click on enter key and in c out statement you cannot use such operators like whatever the operator i have used that was c in statement operator so now i'm going to compile it so see here error 0 successful press any key i'll click on a key now you need to run it so go to run and click on run so this is your output screen and whatever the first c out statement you have written enter two numbers so that statement is present here so i'm going to enter two numbers 2 space 3 and click on enter key now you have sum of two numbers is equal to 5 2 plus 3 is 5 right so now the last c out statement whatever we have that is that c out statement is used to display the answer for you now you can see a cursor is blinking there so why that get ch is used i told you i'll tell you later so this is why so to see the output it is waiting for an key so if you click any of the key in the keyboard it goes to the blue screen that's why get ch is used till you press any of the key it waits in the output screen for that get ch is used so i'll click on one key you can see we have come to the output screen so that is why get ch is very important it wait for you to see the output so next i told you clr sr so again i'll compile and i'll show you i'll compile it then i'll run it now you can see the previous output enter two numbers 2 plus 3 enter sorry sum of two numbers is equal to 5 again it is showing enter two numbers why is because like this is your first output again when you compile it you got your second output so i have entered 3 and 4 3 plus 4 is 7 so it is displaying here since the output screen whatever the previous result is there that will be displayed on the output screen till you clear the output screen so for that you are going to use clr sr clr clear yes cr screen and a semicolon so now i'm going to save this file every time whenever you change something in your program you need to save then compile it if you don't save it it shows the previous whatever the program is there that see here now you can see the output screen is clear so that is why out clr sr is used so result you have got i'll click on enter key 
till you press an enter key it does not go to the blue screen so that's why get ch is used i hope you understood the program so this is the simplest program in the c programming or c++ programming so this is how you are going to write a program i hope you understood this particular program i just wanted to give you a you might think a homework or you can try it once so you can do subtraction write a program to subtract two numbers write a program to multiply a number write a program to divide a number or write a program to input two numbers and display the two numbers so all these things are different try it example you can try it in your home whenever you are working out so i hope you understood if you have any doubts in any of the step you can comment me or dm me in my instagram account my instagram account is given in the description box dm me there if you have any doubts or else leave a comment in youtube i'm going to reply it for you and if you have any doubts in any of the program just comment the program name i'm going to do the video on that particular program so thank you